everyone. I mentioned before I downloaded the XJ View um, tool using the MATLAB to extract um, information about coordinates. And now I want to show you how I use it and for the results of the SPM, such as contrast maps, in order to extract information about the coordinates and the um, peaks that I'm receiving in the results. So let me first share my screen. I'm sorry for this. Okay. So for example, if I load um, the results of the SPM in the GUI, um, let's say one of my subjects, and I choose um, this contrast, for example, with 15 minimum voxels for each cluster. So here I get the, um, the coordinates table and the uh, class frame. I can, of course, um, use the coordinates um, to extract them into a SVC um, file and then you know, do some operations on this file and add some information using other softwares. And um, so I copied this information. And in addition, what I did is um, I used this XJ view tool um, to extract more information for the same app. And I'll link the um, download, um, the previous video with the information about how to download this. Um, so yeah, I want this code to open um, the tool. Now I will upload the same map, the same contrast map that I just did in the SPM. I'm not sure I um, selected it, sorry. Again. Okay, now I did. So here's the map, it's very messy, but I can change here the cluster size. So for minimum voxels, 50. And yes, this is the same p-value. Um, I hope you can see my mouth, yeah, I, I hope you do. So cluster size and p-value, and then it says no super threshold negative intensity, only positive intensity, intensity displayed, okay? Because you can choose here all intensities, only positive and only negatives. And then you can render the view, um, which looks like that. But what I really show you is how to um, report the um, table of clusters and extra information. So if you, let me first clean this um, plug the command window. Um, so if I click the report, then I get in the um, command window um, information about the um, all the clusters um, and coordinate and atomical labels. So I'll copy it, um, let's see, outside of the SPM. Okay, now of course, in the SPM, where is the, uh, yes. So you can actually, you can get an atomical label. If I like overlay the results, so let's say I'll render the results um, on a canonical template. On a single subject, this is a very famous template. And I can add your display labels and your internal labels, but then still it's not a map. Um, and I want a map of the um, results and extra information. So that's what I did using the XJ view. And it actually is the same, uh, very same maps as we see here, the glass brain and the information I've shown you. And now let's see how it looks like. Um, so I'll go back here and then I get information for each cluster. So for example, the first cluster, it's not um, in the SPM, it's ordered the code in the uh, size of the clusters. It's not ordered the same here. Um, so let's look first at the, for example, the first cluster, which is around 126 voxels. And then you get information of the peak coordinate, which is the same as the in the SPM, but then also the uh, center of gravity MNI coordinates. So the center of mass of the uh, cluster. And then um, another information. So overall total 126 voxels. They are all in the left cerebral hemisphere on the posterior lobe. So this is um, overlapping information because you get information where is it located, left, right hemisphere, or both. And if it's both hemispheres, so how much voxels within each hemisphere and so on and so forth. So you're getting very um, um, inform, um, inform detailed information about the um, different clusters within the uh, activation. Now what's good about it? So this is for single subjects or a few subjects, but as I've shown before, you can, of course, use the um, XJ view, <laughs> it's very slow here, 
So you can use it within your scripts. Actually, it's written in MATLAB. So um, there is an option to use a code that um, converts coordinate into um, information. And usually it looks like that. You get information which looks like this, each row for each three coordinates of x, y, z. So within which hemisphere, within each lobe, and et cetera. Um, I hope this can help you in any way. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.